out, guys. This is like a big party. <laughs> it's like everyone's here. <laughs> How's it well, going? Jimmy's coming home. He's on the way. So you can join. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Awesome. Well, my More the merrier. Doing cardio with the dogs. So I told him he had to be quiet. So <laughs> Dan, get out. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> he doesn't want you. Oh, look Aww. at who it is. We have a little guy here. Oh, love it. We love well, animals on this podcast. I know, right? The only, the only go ones to the that have bathroom at the very yeah. end. <laughs> I was gonna say the only ones that haven't been on have been mine. Your ears were on I last know. week and the week you before. I know. Yours. I know they're they're out doing cardio with Dan. So I told you, like he does the cardio in the in the the up and down the um driveway. That's driveway. the word I'm looking for. So the dogs go with him. So that's their, that's their sprints. They, they get their exercise. <laughs> there you go. And then everybody's tired by the time they come back inside. That's right. So, well, welcome you guys. This is episode six and we're doing something really special since we have a uh, two, now we have two Olympia qualified athletes here. Oh my God. <laughs> what, can you believe that, Julia, that you can say that? No. No, this morning we, was, we watched uh, videos from the show and we was both sitting on the couch and crying like crazy. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I was, I was DMing with your husband while, uh, while the whole thing was going on. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. She won. <laughs> It was like, was I'm crying. crying, I'm crying. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Drew's just like freaking out and Jay's like crying. Oh and it was God. so cool. Like we were all on FaceTime <laughs> with each other and like you hadn't even gotten off stage yet. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I talked to everybody except for Yulia because Yulia was still on stage. She was still in the process exactly. of actually winning, and we're all like, oh my God. I, I, didn't even have, <laughs> I didn't even have time to get my phone because um, a guy came and they was, come on, you have to do your own interview. And I was, what interview? Leave everything here. Yeah. The girls were screaming. I was, oh. Yeah. That was cool to hear. I too. was still shaking. Yeah, it was cool to hear everybody in the in the audience screaming for you when you won. That's awesome. Because I think everybody, yeah. I know personally, and you know, we talked during the day. I was shocked. I really like I was shocked. I had Rihanna in first. You know what I mean? I didn't, I I mean, I'm not there in person, so I can't see what actually happened. And it was so close with you guys being one point apart, you know. So it was like it was it was it was an emotional, <laughs> emotional evening. <laughs> It was. Well, See, like, I wasn't shocked. Like, because I saw her, we saw her in person at Atlantic Coast. Yeah. And she, like, Janet's. Uh, sorry. Janet, Battle of I always get those Janet, confused. Sorry. I apologize. Battle of the Bodies. And she was like on. Yeah. Like on. Well, on. she was too on for that. Day. For that show. Yeah. So I knew it was. I mean, if it wasn't this year, I was going to be shocked. So yeah. I was, I was, I was not shocked. I was like, yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> well, I thought it was, I thought it was really cool that like the whole season you were like, okay, I'm placing here. Then I'm placing here. Then I'm placing here. Then I'm placing here. And now I'm going to win it. It was like, you didn't drop at all. Like in your placing, like, no. you just kept climbing and ascending. So how did that, how did that feel? Like when you were going into finals, did you have any idea that that was going to happen? Well, the thing is my roommate this weekend was Rihanna. Mm -hmm. So we had such a great time. We loved each other. Okay. <laughs> we, I don't know, we had a, a connection. Well, yeah. I talked with her before, but it was just, hi, hi, how are you? Congratulations, good luck, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So after prejudging, uh, we knew we was in the center, and I told her, no matter what, I will be happy either way. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we'll bring the, bring the trophy in this room. That's right. right. That's right. So, That's how Jody and I were last year. And it is like we truly were happy no matter what happened either way. Yeah. And it's so special to have that as teammates. And all of us can say that on this call. Mm -hmm. You know, we truly are so happy for anybody that wins. And there's plenty of success to go around. Yeah. And that's just so cool that you guys were able to share that this weekend together. Yeah, yeah. I love her. Yeah. I said, well, I hope we can stay together for Olympia. I said, no, no, no. You will have your room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will. Yeah. But yeah, if you yeah, wanted you a roommate, roommate, you could. Yeah. Uh, Jay's coming with me. <laughs> yeah. So how I, do you I, how yeah. did, was it but was it the better husband. or was it harder with him not there? Was it is it harder for him to be there to be there or is it harder for him to be gone for you? For him or for me? For you. <laughs> for me. Well, I love when he's there. Oh. I do. Um, but I also have a, such a special connection emotion he's experiencing so for battle of the bodies he was so nervous usually i'm relaxed I, i'm thinking it's a game 
whatever happens, happens. What's the worst thing can happen? Nobody will beat me. Nobody yeah. will kick me out of the league. Nothing will happen. So at the Battle of the Bodies, we stayed home because it's like 20 minutes away. And I asked him, are you nervous? He said, no, 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 not yet. And I told him, I can feel and I can see even the way you move. If you are going in the kitchen mm -hmm. to get a Coke from the fridge, you are um, moving completely different than regular. Mm -hmm. I do love yeah. to have him there, but I also am more relaxed when he's not there because I know he's more stressed than me. Yeah. Well, yeah. he will see this, but he already knows that. <laughs> no, I'm the same way. Like, cause I, I say that all the time with Dan, Dan's super competitive, super, super competitive. And it's like, sometimes I just need, I'm like, I just need to chill and I need to breathe. And he's like, all oh, hyped up, like, Bruh. I'm like, no, don't do that. <laughs> so I totally get that. Cause you're right. You could, when you're with a person for a certain period of time, you can feel their energy. You know what I mean? And you know, they don't have to say a word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you exactly. can know, you can know exactly how they feel. How about you guys? How, how's it work for you guys, Jordan? Andrew, says Drew's here. Depends <laughs> on the weekend. Yeah. It depends on the weekend. I mean, him and I have had recent conversations of like, you know, it's so hard because Drew is such a competitive person, but he's also yeah. a coach. So obviously he help with things. And I said to him a couple shows ago, I just need you to be my husband. And he was like, like, yeah. what, how did that, how did no, you take that? No, it was, we, we all had the conversation, Greg, Jamie, and myself, like it's, you know, cause Jamie and, you know, she'll call me midweek and want to make sure she trusts my eye and, and we talked and I think that was the, some of the biggest changes we've made is once we arrive to whatever city we are, I'm just going to take coaching hat off and I'm just going to be a supportive hus yeah. husband hat. Yeah. And um, because mama bears there, so it doesn't matter. She's got eyes on you. We're good. So I, um, because, you know, I am, I want, I want the best for her every week, yeah. but we find that. I can be overwhelming. Yeah. So just take a step back and like when Jay is going to get a Coke and he's walking yeah. differently, oh, yeah. he's trying to be normal, but we know them so yeah. well that we know they're actually yes. feeling so, and they don't feel under. He told me this morning, I promise for Olympia, I'll go for long walks and I will leave you alone. <laughs> I will not stress. <laughs> You know, Dan, Dan, Dan says all the time, he's like, I can coach you. I said, no, you can't. I said, no, you can't. Yeah, Drew, you can do it again. Right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Love it. Uh, if we coach together, God bless. We would never no. do it. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah. There is no way. I mean, you know, and we talk about this all the time, Jordan. I mean, we, we run businesses with our husband, so it's hard enough. You have that added piece on top of there. Oh, my God. There's no way. I couldn't do it. Forget it. Away. Forget mm -hmm. it. So what was the first Bye. thing you did when you got home? Yeah, it was what did you do when you got home? Uh, well, Jay had um, um, an event yesterday night. So I just came. I put everything. He left me the key somewhere. My car keys to get in the house. And okay. I just put everything in my car and I drove there to see him. Oh. oh, so you went to the event right there for him. Yes, but I stayed there just not even half an hour. I just went to say hi because it was the opening of a new gym. So I really wanted to just show up at least. Yeah, yeah. Are you exhausted? Like, is, yeah, you have, and that's it. Do you I'm have any jet home. lag? Do you have any jet lag or anything from, the, from being out in Arizona? Well, I didn't have time, honestly, because yeah. uh, I woke up, I went to the gym. You know how it's Monday after the show. Laundry, meal prep. Now I have a client uh, yeah. at 6 p.m., so I have to leave. So life goes. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I feel like Cinderella. In the weekend, you are a princess, and uh, from Monday to Friday. <laughs> yep. What right back to <laughs> Yep. Because you're, you're competing yeah. again this coming weekend, right? I do. Yeah. So to, uh -oh. I didn't know I that. See, I see your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> We're shocked. <laughs> Oh, did I, just, did I just say something I was supposed to say? Like, bro, this is going to come out, so everybody's going to know. Now anyway. we can't drop the yeah. podcast I, until Friday. I so know, right? <laughs> I Unless do. we'll be out in a couple yeah. hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I committed, I committed to this one because we, were, we really tried to 
we was really trying to get this qualification. So I'm ready. My body reacts like it's not like I'm starving. I'm doing cardio. Like today, I had no cardio. Last week, no cardio. I'm eating a lot. Yeah. I'm training hard. Good. So I feel really good. I have no reason to don't do it. Yeah. Well, you know, you can tweak some things, you can try some things, you can get more feedback from another judge, you know, that kind of thing. All those things are good things going into the Olympia, you know? Well, the thing is, the feedback in the last three shows was don't change anything. Yeah. So we kind of don't want to change anything. Are you going to try and come in maybe a little bit a, a little bit fuller this time? Because I know you came in fuller this, this last show, or are you going to just try to keep it exactly the same? Uh, uh, probably, yes. Probably a little bit fuller. Yeah. Because don't change anything, but don't tighter. And my body is burning yeah, like right. crazy. Mm -hmm. Like it's a little Drew knows. Oh, you guys know because you saw me at Battle of the Bodies. Yeah. Yeah. I was uh, I mean, eating the body. every two hours and in two hours I was gone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like when the metabolism just kicks in, it's just roaring. Yeah. You just gotta keep up with it. So this is, it's a good spot to be in, you know, four weeks out from the Olympia. So mm -hmm. yeah, Drew, Drew was funny when he ran backstage at Battle of the Bodies and he was, get the honey. I took the spoon, the honey. He said, leave the spoon, take the bottle. <laughs> yeah, so talk a little bit yeah, about that because to track it. Because you guys, um, Drew and, and Jordan, you guys were there backstage with her at Battle of the Bodies. So talk a little bit about how that went first. And then like maybe some of the things that, that you applied, Yulia, going into Arizona, into uh, Rising Phoenix. You're the one who was hands on with her that week. Well, yeah, I mean, they had just started ramping up food already, um, kind of before I got there with Jamie. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, it was a little bit of a later day too for for um, for Battle of Bodies. So, like, we just kept trying to feed her and feed her and feed her. But we kind of just really, in hindsight, I feel like we should have probably had a conversation about some more fats earlier mm -hmm. in the day potentially just because i mean her body was just rolling and just roaring but it was also extremely hot in the venue mm. the lights like that didn't help you either like literally so she's on she's on the diagonal holding a front pose and i'm trying to get her attention because like she's just getting like vascular and more and more and more vascular i'm like just take a step back hit a transition just like let the arms fall relax and um relax right you know you don't have to be in the pose so hard when you're on the diagonal I mean, there was a couple athletes that were getting patted down at um, Battle oh, of Bodies because wow. they were just drifting you know, and off. But um, you and Mama Bear got it figured out right now. I know you two. I know you do. Are you allowed <laughs> to say it? I think we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you? Oh, yeah. Are you allowed to say what show you're doing this weekend? Of course. Yeah. Uh, so the initial plan was to do legions. Uh, but uh, we change it, I think, Thursday or Friday. I don't remember. One of these days. Because, as I said, we was trying to get qualified for this year Olympia. And Jamie recommend to do the Northern Muscle Showdown. I think it's called. In Georgia. Georgia. I think it's Southern. Southern, southern yeah. Muscle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are Perfect. doing that. And now, are you flying to that? That's Georgia. Or are you driving? I do. No, I'm flying. I'm okay. flying even to Tampa, Orlando. I was saying you flew to Tampa. <laughs> even at the Tampa show, you flew there. Yeah. <laughs> no, if if I can save time, yeah. yes. I'm well, especially because you're doing so many back to back shows. This is what this will be. Is this going to be your sixth show in a row? Yeah, my seven? sixth show. Jeez, it's in like a row. Season. No weeks yeah. off. Yeah, a I lot. did clash but first, friends. and this was unexpected, unplanned. Well, I had my check-in Thursday with Jamie and she said, oh, what do you think if we're doing Clash? And I was, sure, no problem. And mm -hmm. I don't know why in my mind was, all right, I have two weeks to get in shape. It's one week before the uh, first show we plan to do. And I came home from the gym. I was preparing my dinner and I just look in the calendar. I have one calendar on the wall where I put everything in the last two years, how much cardio, my weight, everything is in yeah. that, my whole history in the whole last two years. And I look That's in cool. the calendar and I told Jay, baby, I'm in big week. <laughs> said, how are you in big, big week? Well, I just told Jamie that I'm doing Clash. <laughs> so yeah, after Clash, we had two weeks off. We did Sasquatch. So I placed eight at Clash. 
six at uh, Sasquatch. Mm -hmm. After that was fifth at battle. Six. Fifth at battle. Battle of the bodies. Was I played six. six. Yeah, six. After that. Yeah. Six, six, six. Yeah. After that, San Antonio second and the big win. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. She's back there. Oh, <laughs> already, already all set up. <laughs> she is That's gorgeous. Well, and this was a good, this is That's a really name. good title. Yes. Yeah. Do yeah. you have a name for her? Of course, Yulia Baba. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's her name. <laughs> I love it. I love you so much. So I want to bring up. Of course, Yulia Baba. <laughs> I want to bring up a topic. That I, I worked so hard for this lady. Oh, <laughs> what was the chair wants to bring up a topic? Okay. What, what was I wanna, it? I want to, I want to talk about her off season. Okay. I want to talk about how, you know, I was at every one of your in-person check-ins for your off season pretty much and how just the patience and how so many competitors, we get excited and that's something that coach and the, and the athlete have to balance, mm -hmm. right? And I want you to talk a little bit about that because I think that's a huge, huge, it, it is the reason why you are now an Olympian at the end of the day, right? Like Coming off your season last year, taking the time off. Talk about that. Like, are you grateful? Like, would you do anything different? Uh, uh, <laughs> where to start? Yeah. yeah. So after my, after my, um, last uh, season last year of course i was a little a little bit disappointed not about what well, i knew i can but i also that i can do more than that uh so that was the moment when i decided to change my coaches and i changed to jamie and i'm very happy mm -hmm. i was telling jamie <laughs> this morning from second call out last year to olympia qualifying this year it just blows your mind. Yeah. And literally one year. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We started working her. together October one. 1st. Yeah. Exactly one Unreal. year. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Um, what else I can say? Everything changed. My workout plan, my macros, my the um, attention to every little single details she gives. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. It's um, I don't know how she can do all of this. Of course, we change yeah. everything from my look, from yeah. yes, everything was changed, yeah. everything. And I'm that kind of uh, person who really takes the off season serious. Yeah. I do believe my off season is my prep. Yep. The prep means just cut. You just cut the fat to reveal the muscle you gain or the improvements you made in the off season. But the real prep, it happens from the moment you step off stage until you start prep. <laughs> yeah. Well, we talked about this on um, Saturday night, you know, when, when we were talking after your win and everything, you know, your, your prep for that show was, you said nine weeks, right? Yeah. Nine reason, weeks. Yeah. The nine reason weeks. for that is because you stayed so consistent and tight through your off season. You didn't gain a ton of weight. You didn't go way off on anything. You were regimented. Like you just said, you, you're like, I have a calendar with three years of everything that I did. You know, that's, that's what makes the difference between ending up in second call out again and ending up as a champion. That's the difference is not during and the prep. <laughs> Yeah, it's not during your prep. It's during your it's during your off season. It's how you how you manage your improvement season versus your off. How much how much weight did you gain in your improvement season? So my last season last year, my uh, uh, stage weight was one twelve, and my okay. off season um, I was one twenty seven. So like fifteen pounds. Yeah, that's perfect. And, uh, really and stage weight this weekend, if you wait a second, I can tell you exactly. Okay. <laughs> I, know okay. Good, I think I was. One, we'll wait. Yep. One, we'll wait. One, we got time. <laughs> 115 something. Okay. So I was actually one pound heavier than last week. Okay. So what is it? Saturday. Yes. Yeah, Saturday, actually, I was 116.4. So 10 pounds less than my highest off season off season yeah and you said and how or much tighter 
floor. How much did you weigh at Vital Bodies? You said it was, was it one pound or two pounds less? Uh, that was uh, September 17. Yes. September 16, I think. I was 114.8. So one so pound pounds. and a half, two pounds. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's the difference right there. Like people don't realize like, again, if you, if you break this down into, into pounds and stuff, you really only were up about 10 to 12 pounds in your off season total. Once you got back to your stage weight, you know, mm -hmm. because the thing that you needed from last year was you needed to put on size. So you put on the size that you needed from the, your previous show weight. So you put on quality size and that's what a lot of people don't realize is like, if you go up, you know, 20 pounds in your off season, you've still got to cut all that off and you're probably mm -hmm. going to cut off the quality that you put on too. So, so there's, there's a balance of staying in that. Oh, that range. Also, so also being so good in off season, the, it, it was the easiest prep I ever had. My cardio was no more than one hour maximum, maximum, I don't know, three weeks from out of nine. Yeah. Maximum. I, if I yep. say three weeks, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm in that same spot that you are right now. I was talking to, um, to Natalie about this the other day because she was asking me how my prep was going. I was like, I feel like it's too easy. <laughs> I don't, I feel like I should be working harder, you know, like, but that's the same thing. Like I didn't, I didn't put on a ton of weight in my off season. So now that it's cutting down, it's one of those things where it's going really slow so that I can maintain the muscle mass that I put on while I was off, you know, and that's, that's the key. People don't realize it's like being able to cut very, very slow allows you to maintain the quality size that you put on. If you've got, if you got to crash into a show, you're going to lose everything. You just, you just gained. Again, going back to, especially as a female, you know what I mean? As a female, we can't put on muscle all that easily, but we can take it off real quick. <laughs> we can burn yes. it off real fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. So awesome. everything, everything was different. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I was actually shocked when you said 15 pounds up from stage weight, because you look so great yeah. in your off season. You carry it very well. And for our short frames, because mm -hmm. me and you are both like, how tall are you? I'm 5'3". Five, 5'4". Five, I was going to say a little bit little bit. I was going to say, we're about yeah. the same height. Like 15 pounds on us is a lot, but to Sean, she can add 15 pounds and we don't see it at all right. yeah. because she's so tall. Mm -hmm. So it's, you carry it very well. And, and I love that mindset of, you know, your off season, it is, that's when the champion is made, you know? And I think a lot of people focus too much on the prep and the cut when really it's, a, that's just showing what you, the work you put in, in the off season. Exactly. And that's what I try to tell my girls all the time. Like the champion is made in the off season. Like we got to get off stage. We got to make improvements. We got to come back bigger, fresher, fuller. Like, and the only way we're going to do that is an off season. That's right. That's right. So, so what is your, what is your goal for and, Olympia? What do you, what do you want to do for Olympia? Have you thought about it? I asked Jordan this question goal? a couple, yeah, I asked Jordan this the question a couple weeks ago. So now I'm asking you. <laughs> Wait, baby. I'm just kidding. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, just to have fun and enjoy everything. Yeah. Usually I go in a, in a show with no expectations. Yeah. Because you never know who's going to show up there. That's right. Yeah. Well, well we no. talked about this. One of the reasons why we wanted to have you on here too is because obviously going into this show, nobody would have thought that you would come out the winner. I mean, it just that that's the honest to God truth because you know, Daraja was going in after placing fourth place at the Olympia. You know what I mean? That she's the crowd favorite. You know, Rihanna's gone gone to the Olympia. This will be her second year now going to the Olympia. You just one time placed in the top five. Once. One time placed in the top five. Right. So yeah, you're the underdog coming in. So nobody, nobody thought you were going to pull out this win. Right. Like everybody's like, Holy, Oh my God. <laughs> like, you know, so I, it's like that, that, that just shows you, like we talked about this last week of the whole politics thing. It does not exist <laughs> because no. like not for nothing, but you going into this show, you were, a, you were a nobody, you know what I mean? You were a nobody going into the show. You don't know anyone, you don't blah, blah, whatever, you know, but you still had the best look. You had the best physique. You had the best, the best of everything that day. So you won, you know, that just, just and now what a resume right. topic, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. Really so it just shows people it's really it's, it out of the water. Yeah. It's not even, it's not even who you are. It's not who, you know, it's not this, that, the other thing. It's what you put up on that stage that day. 
Bottom Plus line. getting six at Sasquatch out of uh, 40 oh, something yeah. bikini athletes. Yeah. Like you have a great resume going into the Olympia. Absolutely. A really good resume. Yep. Uh, I was talking with one of my friends today and she was, with this win, you shock the bodybuilding world. Yeah. <laughs> because nobody expect. No, nobody, yeah. nobody saw it coming. Nobody saw it coming. People don't even know how to say your name. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Just this year, but next year. I know, right? I know. I'm like, it's, it's, it's Julia. Julia. Oh, yeah. You know, last last week after the lists from uh, for um, um, Arizona Pro and uh, Daytona came out, I was talking with Jay, and Jay was, oh, maybe he was doing Daytona. It's closer to home. They yeah. don't have big names. We talked about that. Yeah. Yeah, and about that. I said no. I just want to go where the competition is. If I yeah. don't see how I place between them, how I'm gonna know if I'm good enough, if I'm, if I'm worthy to be there next to them? So, yep. Wow, I'm well, doing I Arizona. <laughs> Jamie yeah. and how Jamie manages you girls yeah. like is very impressive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, she she knows mm -hmm. that there's a reason why. He has girls putting girls in what shows and it's important to get you in front of the right panels yep. to get the right feedback mm -hmm. you know for her to be, see you in person then get feedback that's that only helps your entire stock right yep and i think that it might not make the most sense geographically to have to go from you know miami to phoenix but for your career mm -hmm. Like it's what has to happen sometimes. And I think some, some athletes need to accept that that is a huge part in your, in developing, you know, your stock. Right. Yeah. And I mean, people talk about too, like, you know, on private platforms and stuff about like how hard it must be for Jamie to put her athletes in shows where multiple athletes are competing in the same show. I mean, when you have such a big team like Fit Body Fusion, it could be all five of us in the top five right. and we are just happy with whoever wins that day. But Jamie can't say like, Oh, well this weekend it's your weekend. Right. And that, you know, it's just, it's her job to put all of us at our best yep. and us when we get on show day for us to deliver our best. And up to, after that, it's the judges, it's up to the judging panel. Right. So, right. yeah, I mean, it was such a, it was such a great weekend seeing you two split center, knowing that you guys were rooming together yeah. and I knew you guys were having fun all weekend. I mean, that, it's just it's a weekend now you're never ever gonna forget yeah. no and that's something I'm that people again. <laughs> yeah that's no. aww. you should you should be so happy <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But I told, I was, I uh, my time with rihanna there was so good she's such a sweetheart like i don't know we enjoyed so much and that resort was very calming and relaxing um we went for a walk friday morning and i don't know it was a chilly morning like fall vibe we was there for to compete we was feeling great enjoying each other company it was i don't know so so peaceful so peaceful yeah. i cried so yeah. much this weekend <laughs> i'm like you're making me <laughs> up <to> yourself <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, Sean, what do you, I mean, you've been along for this ride with, with her for several years yeah. now. I mean, obviously you have helped coach her and her polish and her suit. Like how much does this mean to you? I'm sure this is a complete full circle moment for you as well. It is, you know, and again, I'm going to get emotional talking about it, <laughs> but like, it's, it's just really, for me, it's really cool to see, like, you know, when we started working together, Yulia, you, you had just done a few, a handful of NPC shows, right? Right. It was like you've been competing for what, two seasons or something. Um, and yeah. she sent in a uh, application for my athlete search that year and um, bar like barely even like said anything or anything like that. But we were at a, at a um, posing clinic and her husband, Jay, came up to me and was like, she wants to meet you. She entered your athlete search. Can she come meet you? I was like, yeah, of course. And immediately I was like, oh, this girl's cute. I like her. <laughs> I was like, so I ended up sponsoring her through this through the uh, through the athlete search. And you know, the the one thing that always stuck out to me with Yulia more than anything else is yes, you have a fantastic look, you have a fantastic frame and all that kind of stuff, but your student mentality, your ability to take your feedback 
and do and do what you're what you're supposed to do. Like there's a lot of people out there that, that are their own worst enemies. Like they just don't listen or they don't execute. We talked about this last week about they just self-sabotage and things like that. And you never did that. You always, after every show, I get a text. So what do you think? And what can I do better? Every show. <laughs> <laughs> like every show I'm like you look fantastic I don't know <laughs> no no I and every show I will give you something like a little something that we can work on and make a little bit better you know what I mean like I said after um uh the one we play second I was like I was like yeah you're still a little bit too sharp in the tie-ins I said I thought everything else looked great I said but your tie-ins were just still a little bit too sharp you just need to build be a little bit fuller and you're like yes I agree you know little things with your posing and stuff like that and every time that I would tell you something, this was through your entire, like from NPC all the way up to your pro card, all the way up to now, every time I would tell you something, you did it. And I was like, this girl doesn't question me at all. <laughs> I was like, I was like, and I, I'm like, I wish like you're perfect. I hate to say this, but you're a perfect testimony for me because I'm like, I really want to see everybody that I work with succeed. You know, I really want to see them succeed, but a lot of times they don't listen to me. <laughs> and I'm like, stop. I'm like, you need to just listen. I promise I'm telling you the right thing. You know what I mean? And again, with you, ever since we started working together, you listened to every single thing that I told you and, and, and your success is proof of that. And I love that because it's like, I, you know, for me, it's one of the most frustrating things that, that I encounter daily is people that, that question and rightfully. So you're not supposed to just follow people blindly. Like I get that. I understand, but I, I, I promise you, I, I promise you, I mean the best for you and I want to see you succeed. And I want to want to see you get to where you're supposed to go. And you're a perfect, like I said, you're a perfect example of that. I'm like, she just did everything I told her to do. <laughs> like, people just need to listen and to me. To <laughs> I know. I'm like, <laughs> I freaking love it. And, I, you know, I was the person that you called last year when you were thinking about changing up a bunch of things and stuff like that. And we had a really long conversation about that. And what did I tell you to do? I told you to sit down, make a pros and cons list, you know, figure out what you think is best for you. I'm mean, like, I can sit here and I can tell you, I think that this would be best. I think this direction would be best. I said, but you need to figure it out because you know yourself better than I do. So, you know, you need to sit down and say, okay, I'm, I have X, Y, and Z on my, on my pros list. I have X, Y, Z on my cons list, you know, pluses and minuses, which direction should I go and just make a not, like we talked about again last week, a non-emotional decision and do what's going to be best for you in the long run. Think about yourself next year versus yourself right now, this second and you did that. And look at you now. <laughs> I'm like, and she's going to the Olympia. I was just saying, I was like, I was like, oh my God. I was like, okay, we got to make another suit. <laughs> I was going to ask you, have you had an Olympia on suits, uh, one of your suits on stage yet at the Olympia? Oh yeah. Every yeah. Year. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, I didn't know. Yeah. No, I've, I, I have girls that qualify pretty much every year. I had uh, fitness and wellness last year. I had bikini the year before, bikini the year before. Bikini either poor. Oh, yeah, Jazzy. Yeah, and yeah, Debbie. yeah, yeah. Duh. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Nope. Okay, mm -hmm. pet brain. Everybody just excuse that question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So every year, pet brain. every year for gosh, five, I think five or six years, I've had girls on, on the Olympia stage. Yep. Oh, we just had another one. No, nope, just had another one. I was like, oh, we got a bikini girl. Yes. <laughs> oh, guys. So I want to say something. Um, this year, especially every time I step off stage after pre judging, I was uh, texting Sean, How was it? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and she was all the time, Do this, do that, uh, yeah. make sure you don't rub your glutes, yeah, keep it pumped. Yep, so yeah, well, it does help a lot. You know, that's one of the positives of having the live streams, you know, because that's what happened at Sasquatch. We talked about this at Sasquatch, so I was watching the live stream. And um, after you did your individual, like I, I, I saw you for, for the first looks, I saw you for individuals. I just make sure that you don't drop your glutes. You drop your glutes during your individual. So when you go out for comparisons, don't drop your glutes, right? And then when you're out there for comparisons, you didn't drop your glutes. So I was like, yes, <laughs> I was like she did it. <laughs> but that's one of the beautiful things about having your name being Baba because you're at the very beginning of the list. So right. you can so, <laughs> yeah, you have time <laughs> to run off stage, go grab your phone. I'm like, do this when you go out for comparisons. <laughs> And at, at Sasquatch, you had deal 40 with girls. Yeah, you had 40 girls backstage to, to, to wait through. So, you know, it's like you had plenty oh, of time. And my phone was very far away, so I had to run there, run back here. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> hey, but it paid off. You had man. plenty of time. Yeah, it paid off. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you had an hour. <laughs> you had like an hour in between. No big deal. 
<laughs> just wait for the Olympia. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. Last year's Olympia, I swear, it took like two hours. Yeah, you and I will go on stage and we'll go take a nap. For like <laughs> right? Because you're at the beginning too with the bees. Oh, with all yeah. the bees. <laughs> That's true. I, I was thinking, I hope I'm not going to be the first one. I said, I hope I'm not going to be the first one. But after that, I remember Vanya. It's, uh, yeah, it's yeah. eight. Yeah. So she will be the no, first we're, one. We're good. Yeah. And Maureen, yeah. Maureen will be last yeah. because she won last year. So thank you. Oh, yeah, we talked about that. No, last yeah. year I was standing right next to her. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and she, we were in line and she was wearing the bright pink suit. Yeah. I remember all the girls were like, oh my gosh, right before pre judging Oh my God, I love your suit. And she kept saying, it's risky. It's yeah. risky. And then she got off stage and everyone thought she was going to win. And she, we were like, well, I guess the risk worked. Paid off. It paid <laughs> off, right? Yeah, because yeah, what? Because yeah. Jessica Wilson's always last because of the W. Right. Yeah. So yeah. wherever the chips are. with me with H, I'm always in the middle. Always in the middle. In the middle. Yeah. <laughs> just, dead, dead to the middle. That's what it is. So which sucks like when you're on if they, like you know how muscle contests they keep you on stage. So I always end up being at the very back of one of the diagonals, the, the first diagonal. So I'm in everybody's pictures and videos. So I'm like, damn it, I can't relax at all. Because <laughs> I'm in every single See, picture I'm towards video. the front of the diagonal, yeah. which is what you were dealing with at um, Janet's show, right? Because we're in the, we're the lights. closest to the lights. Yeah. And vascular. There's nowhere to hide. You have yeah. to hold those poses. That's why I think you and I hold our poses so hard on the diagonal, because there's no forgiveness right yep. there. Yeah, it's hard. It's really thanks hard. a lot for helping me there, things. guys. <laughs> just relax always you know one thing you've gotten better about you leah too remember last year i used to get on you about your facial expressions on the side diagonal because <laughs> you what? used to, your facial expressions on the side diagonal oh, yeah. because last year you could see it written all over her face when she wasn't happy about her call out i'm like julia like just smile <laughs> I was like we can see we talked about time. that yeah yeah i'm very honest i cannot <laughs> hide we we were upset about it too well last year we I were like know. Oh. Yeah. well the the what the national fit <laughs> show you you they forgot your number at national fit exactly. show exactly right? yeah that's what i wanted to say at nashville how do you want me to smile there when my tears almost drop on my face yep i was at that show and my was realize. next to me yeah. and i was yeah. And it was four call outs. So first call out, I was okay, I'm not for first call out. Second yeah. call out, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna be in third call out. Nothing. Four call out, I'm still sitting there. Yep. Like Yeah. This was last what the year. Hell? Last year. I was last year. Last year. I, I understand that. Yeah, I, I'm just saying I was at that show and yeah. I didn't know. Well, you were on stage, so you know you probably weren't paying attention. But yeah, they, so, they forgot yeah. her number. Uh, and um, somebody else is too. They forgot two two of your numbers. They got you mixed up. Like you were number three, and I think number thirty three. They forgot both of you. Um, so then they ended up bringing you guys back out, and you, you ended up placing. Yes, but do you know why? Because Jamie or Greg? I Jamie. think Greg was the one who said. No, Jamie was. I was standing right there. Jamie was. Yeah. Or Jamie. Jamie said something. She's like, you forgot yeah, to call so these numbers. I don't remember exactly. And you weren't even on no Fit Body. No. No. It wasn't on Fit Body. But the other girl yeah. was. Okay. The other girl was. It was. Uh, why am I forgetting her name? Is it Le Leah? Leah? Something? I can't remember. Leah Walters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the, yeah. the two of them were the numbers that they forgot to call, and it was three, Got three, it. and thirty-three. Yeah. But I was so impressed. I was man. I'm not even from yeah. there. Yeah. And Luke. yeah. That's when Sean and I for yep. Uh -huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Full circle. Uh -huh. here, everybody. Yep. Yeah. Coming all the way back around. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing a podcast together, know, right? And yes. here we are behind the bikini. <laughs> Instant plug, right there. <laughs> But it is, it's crazy how stuff comes around. I can't believe that was over a year ago now. Like you sit back and just the time goes by so fast. Like I saw that today um, uh, on the, on the Reddit board, Lizzie was on there and she was asking about um, taking a off season, how long to take an off season. She's like, a year just seems so long. I'm like, year is not long. It goes by so fast. It goes by so fast. You know, it's just, it's just crazy to think where, again, where we all were a year ago versus where we are now, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. It I mean, it takes really you, take you eight to 10 weeks just to reverse out of a show, just to put yourself in a position to start growing. Yep. That's right. <laughs> you know, so. It, I think from a coaching standpoint, and that's kind of what I was starting to talk about with, with Uli is like, remember how you wanted to prep so bad? You remember? Like, and you were like, Jimmy, like just a little bit longer. I remember be that because like, she was texting me. A little me. longer. <laughs> yeah. I, every, every I, I remember. 
every time I saw you, I you do were remember growing and, the... and growing and growing. And it's like, yeah. as a coach, you see it like the athletes, you don't see it every single day, every single week, right? Cause you see yourself in the mirror, but as a coach, you get these, these little like bursts where your body's just like hyper responsive and everything is, is, cl is clicking. And you might have an idea of when you want to prep or hit certain shows, but as a coach, sometimes we have to be like, Hey, listen, we are just making such great lean gains right now. We do not want to disrupt this just to prep. There's always a show. What do we go six weeks in this industry without having like a, a legit pro show? Mm -hmm. Like, so as, as frustrating as that can be for an athlete at times, when it's clicking, it's clicking. And, and, and like I said with you, it's a prime example. Yep. And when the body wants to grow, it's hard for it to want to cut. Yeah. So it's even more of a reason of not to pull the body out at that time. Let it grow. And then when you stall that, then go into a cut and switch yep. the phase. I yep. tell my girls that all the time that, you know, just like you said, that's, it's like that spurt of growth. Don't cut that off yet. Yeah. Let's ride that out. Well, that same thing happened to me too. Well, the same thing happened to me. I was, we were looking at, you know, cutting for early shows in the, in the spring and stuff. And I was like, my, I still need more size and I'm still growing. So we kept going, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'll keep going. I told Jamie, I was like, I'll stay in off season as long as I need to. I'm like, I don't want to go through prep again, just to cut it all off again, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just pointless. And you're hitting a great timeline yeah. for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So sometimes you have to take a step back and just allow your body to tell you uh, where to go. So we did so start prep um, after six months in off season, I think. So I was in prep for two weeks and I had the check in with Jamie. I don't know. I think it was Orlando. And I think you Drew was there too. Yeah. Was, yeah that was I want to put you on stage, but I also want to wait a little mm -hmm. bit. I don't know what to do. I said, you know what? If you think and you are doubt, doubting a little yeah. bit, let's wait a little bit yeah. more. So I had no regrets. I wait. No, man, this is because like the, honestly, clearly, this is like this is like a perfect yeah. story. Like it really is because even I was saying this like when you took second in um, uh, San Antonio, I was like <laughs> when when. Uh, when Kelby sent me the photos, I was like, I literally go, fuck. I was like, he's, I was like she's so close. I was like, Ugh. I was like, I was like, that just means that I just want her to win a freaking show. And I kept thinking in the back of my head, I was like, if she had prepped earlier, she'd have won a show by now. I'm like, I was wrong. This was good. This was way better. This is a way better story. <laughs> I was like, I'm just like, no, this was this was good. We're good. <laughs> wow. Well, we're just so what happy. Journey, what yeah. The year. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Yulia, I know you've got to go to your client and everything like that. So I want to let you to let you yeah. go do that. Um, but is there anything that you'd like to like close out with as you as you head out to, to go train? Because you got another show coming up now. <laughs> well, it's not my yeah. training. Mine was early in the morning. Now I'm taking care of others. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for having me. Drew, we checked a few times. You are so helpful and so supportive and God, I love you guys. Jordan, you too, you are awesome. Shan, Shan, Sean, <laughs> I can't like, even Okay, talk. nobody can say your for name. Just an name. Nobody can say your name. Nobody can say my name. Yeah, it's okay. No, we we work for so many years together. We do, we do look good. We do work good. I don't know what yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Okay. Uh, You're still here. I want to You're still here. Jamie. <laughs> I want yeah. to thank Jamie because she believed in me from the moment she saw me, she took me, she took care of me, accepting me as a client. God, I have no words to thank them. Her and Greg, they are so awesome. awesome. And what wow. else? Uh, this year will be three years since I stepped on the Olympia stage as an amateur and I won right. my, uh, right. my uh, class. Yeah. Well, yep. three years later, right. I'm going to Olympia, Olympia. Well, you won your class there. Then the following year is when you won your pro card at North Americans. And then, mm -hmm. then you won your Olympia qualification this year. So it's like every year in September to October, it's like, it's like your time. That's it. That's Miles. your spot. That's yeah. your spot right there. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Guys. Well, you're consistent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Proud very you. proud. Very proud. Congratulations. Very proud. We're super excited. You are in. I know. Yes, I can't wait to see you in less than five weeks. I know it's coming up so fast. Oh my gosh, so excited for you. So, well, you know, got one more show to to focus on, and then it's the big O. And it's the big O. Yeah, 
wrote to the Olympia. I'm doing it with Jamie and Divi on uh, October 25th. Okay. Okay. So perfect. Yeah, Good. I can't wait to do that. Jamie was, if you want to Have do fun. it, I said, come on, can be a one, yeah, once in life experience. So Absolutely. why not? You have mm -hmm, to do yeah. it, which is a great segue because that's what you're doing today, Jordan. That's what you're doing. <laughs> that's why yeah. you're not home. <laughs> yeah, we yeah we are. We just we landed in Pittsburgh a couple of hours ago. We were on the plane with Ashlyn Little and Derek Lunsford. They were heading there today, awesome. and then we go awesome. tomorrow. Well, um, uh, Yulia, I'm gonna go awesome. ahead and take you. Derek, off the, he's my favorite. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you off the feed, Yulia, so you can go do your do your client, and then we're gonna go and just continue to, to roll with this this end of the of the podcast here. So congratulations again. Thank you guys. And we'll talk soon, okay? See you at the Olympia. Yes, yes. <laughs> See you later, girl. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So now yeah, you're at the road to Olympia right now. So do you shoot tomorrow? I am. Yeah, we shoot tomorrow. I, I don't even know what time yet. Jamie gets in Jamie do I get in tonight okay. in a couple hours. So yeah, about me and Amy are tomorrow, and then Rihanna and Savannah. Savannah are on Wednesday, and then I think we all come together at the end. Oh, on okay, Wednesday so you're too. there till what Thursday? Thursday morning, and then I fly Thursday to Reno oh, yeah, to weekends. go to Legion's weekend, and then he's at Whitney Jones okay. next weekend. Okay, so we're gonna divide and conquer. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. Like you know, you were talking about how you have a few weeks off, and now you have no weeks off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's like. Okay, we're just gonna fly yeah. across the country every day, right? <laughs> yep, yep. After from this weekend to the Olympia, we have something every weekend right now. So it was nice. It was about four, four to six weeks yeah. at home. We, well, had. I think we had three weekends. <laughs> um, well, I think it was longer for me because I had the hurt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh, right. he was up, he was in Pittsburgh again. He was in the pit. yeah. He said the, this morning, he's like, "I'm going back to Pittsburgh." I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "The last time I was somewhere was in yep. I was at Pittsburgh." Yeah, I, like, oh. I tell people that I'm like, yeah, "I go to right. Pittsburgh like I every forgot. month." I mean, every there's a show there every month or something going on every month. Um, you know, with, I it's mean, beautiful. with it being driving distance too, it's easy. So <clears throat> easy yeah. for you. I thought we were gonna have to drive today. Yeah, we had a, a, a emergency land the plane. Why <laughs> in Baltimore? There was some light that I was like, wasn't that cockpit, issue that they had so they had a few weeks ago where it was like somebody had diarrhea all through the whole plane. <laughs> Did you hear about that? You didn't oh hear God, about that? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. They were flying from they were flying to Europe or something, and somebody got diarrhea through the entire plane and they had to land the, the plane here. It was like here in Georgia or something like that. And they were flying to Europe and they had to they had to uh, land the plane because somebody literally had explosive diarrhea through the whole plane. <laughs> it's like yeah. hazardous weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, please. Off the plane. <laughs> I know, right? There's no way. Oh my god! I'm like, I just booked. No, but I have to say, I was sitting next to Derek yeah. on the way up here because it was a long story. We got in a fight with the third guy in the in the row, so Drew couldn't sit with us. So it was me and some random third dude in the row. Huge. I mean, he was. Yeah. Like, his lat was like <laughs> in my chest, so I'm literally like sitting like this entire time, and I'm like. Derek, <laughs> let's say if yeah. we're gonna sit next to each other, this is what I'm gonna have to say. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. I um, just, I, I th like these are my nightmares. You know, like I just, I just booked all the uh, travel stuff for Hawaii and for Japan and everything, and I'm just like, oh, please let me not be next to somebody like that for like I don't know, ten hours, or something 10 like hours. that. Oh yeah. God, please. That stinks. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Lord. good luck. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's better you sit next to him than me because then, like, it would have been really. Oh, no, you wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. You really guys wouldn't have fit. Really uncomfortable. Yeah. So, how are you feeling? Did your, is your gut issue all better? No, you jinxed me. You jinxed me. What'd I do? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> because you said last week you were like, I bet you this is just PMS and then the actual ghost period is going to come next week. Yep. And here we are. We're still dealing with it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Is it any better or is it feeling better or no? It's getting better. It goes in waves. Like okay. today, um, after this morning and the plane thing, we were um, waiting to get back on the second plane and I started getting really bad cramps. Drew was in line because he thought priority boring and I'm like literally crouched down on the ground like I have cramps right now. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. The only thing I'm worried about is it's October 2nd <laughs> and the Olympia is oh, yeah. November 4th. So 
it's just weird. Like this, it's been two weeks now, so maybe it's just going to be a two week thing and hopefully not come back, but we'll see. We're going to take it one day at a time right now. Huh? You know, yeah, I, how are you get, feel? I'm good. I'm good. My, um, good. <clears throat> I mean, nothing really crazy to report or anything like, like Yulia was saying, like, I'm on, I'm only on 45 minutes of cardio a day. Like <clears throat> this past update, Jamie just added another day of cardio. I was doing six days down on seven. So that's the only thing that changed. My macros didn't change. Nothing changed because I'm just, I'm, I'm continuously, continuously leaning out. Um, my weight, my check-in weight was the same this past week as it was the week before, even with going on vacation and all that kind of stuff. Um, my weight now is about the same. It's like a couple ounces less than what it was last week. You know what I mean? So I think by the time I get to, to Thursday, it'll probably be another pound down or something like that. But um, I'm seeing changes every That's day. Great. I mean, I just like, yeah. like I was saying, I was like, I almost, I feel like it's almost too easy. And like, sometimes I get in my head again about the weight thing and all that, but then I go back and look at my prep stats from last year and I'm like, no, nah, I'm at the same spot I was like as far as weight, but my body composition is completely different. And I'm just like, okay. Good. I'm like, so that, that always checks me a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm like, all right, I think I'm good. You know, all that kind of stuff. And like last week after my check-in, you know, Jamie was like, I'm going to have you ready early so we can feed you in. And I'm like, so I'm like, you're saying I'll be ready early? Really? <laughs> I was like, because, because last year you were telling me we were pushing it. We were going to be, have to be really aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Like, so. Yeah. And now <laughs> the opposite. Yeah. So no, it's good. That's awesome. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm hitting that point now where I'm getting tired more, you know, that kind of thing. It's, you know, my, it's affecting my strength in the gym a little bit, my endurance in the gym a little bit. Um, but it's more so just because of, I think it's more so because of the added cardio than anything else. Um, just cause I'm not used to doing it and it's just, you know, more, you know what I mean? So, um, we know yeah, how in much general, I, like I said, I feel like <laughs> I hate cardio. <laughs> cardio. <laughs> I know when you were in there I Tampa, hate it. I, and you're on the, the arc trainer at our gym and I was like, this is not Sean's vibe right now. <laughs> No, uh -uh. I fucking hate it. Yeah. I fucking hate it. It's not like it. cardio. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no cardio. So I, you know, what I've been doing is I'm switching up my cardio all the time because if I don't, I get really bored and then my intensity lacks. So, um, you know, every day I'm doing something different. Like I'm walking one day, I'm going outside and doing hills another day. I'm doing elliptical another day. I'm splitting it up. Like today, I, I did a half hour um, before this, like a couple hours before this, and I'm going to do another half an hour later because I only did a half hour the other day. So I got to add 15 minutes on for today, that kind of thing. So I'm like, and I only did, I only did a half hour the other day because I did my intense glute workout and I was exhausted. And I was like, well, I'm not going to push for 45 minutes of cardio today where it's going to suck. So I'll just put an hour on a different day and we'll be good. <laughs> we'll even out. I'm like, I'd rather do it in a, in a, in a, in an area where I can put the intensity into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. So today's my rest day from the gym as far as lifting. So I'm doing an art, an hour of cardio today versus what doing 45 minutes the other day when I was exhausted. So and you like um, to split are, it. Are, I love I would much rather split it up. Much I would rather, rather split get it, it done. <laughs> yeah. You and I are so opposite, but it works. I know. It works. Uh, <laughs> Like I'll do, I, you know, dep and depending on how much, how much cardio I'm doing too. That's the other thing as well. It depends on how I feel at the end of my workout for my, my priority is my training. That's my priority. As long as my training is good, my intensity is good, then we're fine. You know? And then, you know, if I'm, if I'm feeling good, I'll go and I'll do my cardio and I'll just bang it out all in one shot. Um, if I feel like I'm lacking in intensity on my cardio, then yeah, I'll cut it off at a half an hour and I'll do another 15 minutes, another, you know, later on in the day before I go to bed or something like that. Um, I don't do morning cardio. If anything, I do evening cardio, you know, like that's just how I okay. am. Um, I, I tell this to people all the time. It's because my brain goes immediately towards work when I get up in the morning. And like, if I don't get my work done, I, I can't concentrate on anything else. So like for me, like my, my training and my cardio and all that kind of stuff, that's my me time. And I'm doing that once my work is done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> lost your uh, signal here for a second. There we go. You're back. Cardio work. work. Uh oh. And I like to get yeah. my cardio all done and I have to work so I could go train. Yeah. And yeah. messages in my inbox, I can't focus. I want to take care of Mike. So I make sure I take care of them. And then I go take 
care of me, get my mm-hmm. lift in, and then finish up work in the afternoon. So, but we all have yep. our our little yep. schedules. Because what works. I yeah, and I feel like what for me too. Like I want to be able to put all of my energy out on the on the floor when I'm doing my training, when I'm doing my cardio, and I can't do that if I know I've got work I've got to go back to. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I just want to be able to to give the most to whatever it is I'm doing that particular day, you know? Definitely. We're the same. I'm hot spotting now. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. Your um, nature video is back. You were completely frozen a minute ago, but. Um, Sorry. It's, a, it's okay. The people listen to this anyway. They don't need to see us. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> as long as the, as long as the audio is good, we're good. And like I said, I can edit that, that piece That's out. It. So, yep. 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 We're back. So, um, yeah, we were just talking about cardio intensity and work intensity and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so that's where we're at with that. So, um, so where are you at as far as, um, how much, you know, cardio and stuff like that you're doing and and macros and things like that? Where are you? Uh, we're, we're pushing. I'm at 70 minutes a day right now. Mm -hmm. Cardio, um, seven days a week. Food's pretty low. I think I'm on like 130 carb, 20 fat. Um, Yeah. I mean, we're just trying to get through this like really weird time with the hormones and stuff. And, you know, I just keep telling myself I'm following the plan. I'm on a very strict meal plan right now and Mm -hmm. eventually it's going to click. So I just kind of, I have to keep trusting that and, you know, knowing I'm doing what I'm supposed to and the body will respond when it wants to, I guess. I have to try to not get stressed out. This is something Drew and I were talking about is like, if I get overly stressed out about it and try to like fix things or get, you know, to like invested in it, I'm just going to push myself even further. Mm-hmm. So I'm just trying to put my athlete hat mm-hmm. on and follow my plan and do what I'm supposed to. <laughs> yeah. Are you doing anything to like try to um, like relax and recover? Like any kind of any kind of mitigate mitigation of stress kind of stuff? Yeah, we've been doing a lot of. I mean, I'm always getting body work done. Um, we've been playing with some uh, cold plunging, which has been fun. Um, I got an IV this past week. I've been actually like really on top of like my health and recovery Mm -hmm. and stretching and foam rolling and things like that. But my body does feel just really trashed right now. Um, I checked in with Jamie um, Tuesday or Wednesday and I basically was just like my body, like it hurts to stand right now. Mm -hmm. Like it's like, it was, you know, two o'clock hits and it's like, my brain is off. My body just wants to sit. Like it's, it's me fighting my body every step of the way. So it's just where we're at right now. That's, that is, you know, it it was, it was cool sitting next to Derek today because, you know, a top Olympian who has a very great chance at winning the Olympia this year and seeing how in the depths he is. And it, it's, I'm reading that book, you know, the champion's mindset. And it's like, when did we get so used to things being comfortable? Right. And especially like, like in an athletic performance, like comfortability is where, you know, the not where success is lies. So I have to just mm-hmm. keep telling myself that, you know, this is, this is the Olympia. Like it's supposed to be hard. There, there right. is challenges and right. it makes it that much sweeter. Yep. Um, Absolutely. It, it wouldn't, if it was easy. Yeah. So yeah. that's it. Just going to try to de-stress. Just keep my, I, me, we've talked about this. I got to keep my noggin good. I just got to keep my noggin between my ears. Good. So that's what I'm yeah. focusing on. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, for a lot of people, that's the hardest part, you know, like the, for, again, the, the diet, the training, all that stuff, like you just do it. You just execute. You know what I mean? It's like, it's what's, going on, yeah, it's what's going on between the ears that can really screw you up, you know, yeah, that, that mental, yeah. that, that all of that, you know what I mean? And it's, it's true. I mean, we we're talking about this with, with, um, with Yulia. It's like, I feel like she's, she probably doesn't realize how mentally strong she actually is. You know what I mean? Like going through what she did over the last month, a lot of people can't do that and come out successful. You know, like she just kept her head down and kept pushing forward and kept pushing forward and kept pushing forward. And a positive attitude. Yeah. Yeah. Like she never, I don't think she ever once thought she couldn't do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, and I'm like, I wish that I had that kind of confidence all the time. You know what I mean? Like, it's admirable. It really is. Like it it really is. Like, I don't, you know, she's never complained. Not, you know, not once, you know, she's like, she's like, I just have to do this. I have to do that. It is what it is. This is where, this is my feedback. Let's do this. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's like, we're just going to push forward. 
Yeah. Okay. And it's not, and it's night and day to like spend time with an athlete like that. And that's why yeah. like we enjoy being there for her so much. You know, we went to Miami for that show to be there because we wanted her to feel supported. And, yep. you know, she is, she's just so easy. And just like you said, she's always asking for feedback. She is a sponge, you know, and yeah. even if she had a perfect day and she comes up to you and says, what, what can I do differently? And you're like, nothing, it was perfect. She's going to be like, I want feedback. Yeah. There's something she, I can do. She <laughs> wants more. And yeah. That's a, that's a true athlete, yeah. you know, and that's mm-hmm. what I, she is absolutely resilient. And I mean, I remember it like it was yesterday last year at this Janet show. And I remember her face when yeah. she got, when she didn't get that top call out. And I, you know, Drew and I were like, I think a change needs to happen. And I'm glad it did. And, yeah. you know, clearly she, she is success, you know, had a successful season, but she works so hard that I'm just so happy to see her be rewarded finally yep. for all that hard work. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and again, it's just for me, seeing stuff like that happen, you know, it's emotional because I want to see, I want to see people successful, you know what I mean? And I just love seeing somebody who really deserves it, get it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it also is very motivating just personally, because I'm just like, man, if she could do that, why can't I do that? You know what I mean? Like, what the hell's wrong with me? Where, where's my brain at? Like, (laughs) come on, man. Like, like I could do that too. You know, <laughs> like, Absolutely. and hopefully that's what it tells other people too. Hopefully that tells other people like, listen, just turn your, turn your brain onto that. Okay. We're going to execute mode and do it. Yeah. Bottom line, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I just, it's, it's, it's always, those kinds of things are always really for, really for me. Like they, they, they put a lot of things into perspective, you know, a lot of yes. things in perspective and it's just like, oh, okay, this isn't the, you know, in the part like the, the, the complaining mindset and stuff, like why, like why, like the, the, it's just so much, there's so much opportunity out there. If you just freaking put yourself in, out there to do it. You yeah. Know? I think that's what, that's what I just really, it's so hard for first timers and or people that are newer into this industry to really yeah. understand. Like I'm not, you edit a lot. I know, right? I was like, I'm about, I'm about to call you on FaceTime and just put you up here because I'm like, we lost you again. <laughs> We're on borrowed time here. I was like, well, maybe I should just, maybe I should just FaceTime. <laughs> so, real quick, Drew, say what you were going to say because no. it cut you off last time. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it doesn't like you. It's not, the, you know. I just go back to, I go back to her, really as last, we'll call it eight months, mm-hmm. and you know how she countlessly checked in with Jamie in person. She drove to wherever Jamie was to meet her. So Jamie could get eyes on her in person. And yes, competing is hard in terms of the time you have to give up the social, you know, um, sacrifices you have to make, but it's also not, you just have to be a dog. You got to get in your right mindset and just work, trust the process, but also ask your coach the right questions. right? Right. You know, and I just, she is a prime example. You know, I guess I said it was so cool to watch her come out of prep and I was so fortunate because I was, I got to see every one of her in-person check-ins through her prep. True. Yeah. Oh, so I got to see her, you know, her lines fade away, even though her lines were like, she always still had a six pack, even when she was I know. Know, 127, she said, you know, and just to watch her shape just compound. And I was like, man, I saw you at girl power and now it's whatever the May, the May show a month later, I was like, dude, your shoulders look like they ate themselves. And I'm just like, (laughs) that's what's so, I think just for the girls listening and for any of the amateurs or pros, it doesn't matter. It's, it's just accepting that, accepting that conversation you have to have with yourself in the mirror every morning to make the best choice that's presented in front of you that day to execute your plan to the fullest and be rewarded as an Olympian. It's, it's, and to bring your, your physique in at its fullest and everything too. Cause one of the things that I, I commented about when I saw her in person in Tampa this year was all of a sudden she reminds me of Issa, like, especially from the back, Issa Pacini, like her, her whole back pose reminds me, I mean, she's tighter than Issa from the back actually, but the whole look, the whole shape and everything. I was like, that is not a bad thing to be looking like, you know what I mean? Like previous Olympia winner, like she's, she's got some, some huge potential there. Huge huge yeah. potential that, that, you know, a couple of years ago, we never would have seen that, you know what I mean? And it's just really cool to see that come and, and, and cr- be created in front of your eyes, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, her whole polish from start to finish too. I mean, like that's something to talk about too. I mean, her hair is different. You came up with the new suit color yep. and yep. the winner. 
Yep. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And they told him not to change anything. So we're making her another blue suit that's exactly the same, just in case. Yeah. Like, I was like, we'll just have a backup. So in that way, if anything happens, you got the exact same suit. <laughs> you yeah. slip it out and then you're good. <laughs> but they told but you not to change color. it. So we're not going to change it. You know, like there's yeah. no sense in changing. Just have a backup. Everybody always asks me, are you going to change the blue? Are you going to change the blue? I'm like, no, it works. If they like <laughs> it, they tell, you, they, they tell you not to change it. Don't change it that's yeah, the bottom yeah. line you know until they until they tell you like okay you need to change this you need to do that then that's different but yeah. once you find something they like don't change it yes i thought that don't was change it you made to her at battle of bodies was like you know last season she was very you said i think girl next door girl right? next door like, yes. polish and, yep. and now she comes out she's, she's got, a woman she's, sad. she's just like confident mm, yeah and and yep. judge is see that and that's where when you look at photos on NBC News online on Monday and everybody wants to talk about oh why is this this or this and if you were not there and you did not witness some of that keep your mouth shut that's right absolutely absolutely and the other part of it too is that you don't know what the process was to go through that so this is a great <laughs> I'm like can I can I FaceTime you I'm trying to FaceTime you right now. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, i know right so so i'm gonna finish this story out and then we're gonna then we're gonna end the, the episode because then i don't have to come on wi-fi <laughs> okay right so uh so what i was saying is that i put out this is a great case that's case study of all of this if you don't know what's going on in the background right i put up my post this weekend on saturday of my two front poses and yeah. i had a lot of people commenting on what to change all this kind of stuff and I was like, nope, that doesn't work because we already tried it. Nope, that doesn't work because we already tried it. You know, and what people don't realize is that that particular look that you're seeing on stage came from a lot of other things that have been tried, right? So we know what works and what doesn't. And that's why we're coming here to this point. Now, again, I don't, I, you know, if you saw, saw my stories, I put up the feedback that Jamie gave me on my poses and we're both in agreement. They're not, we don't know which one we're going to do. But my point being is that we've gone through all these steps. We've done all those things that you said and they don't work. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's all you don't see. All you see is the finished product on stage. You don't see what happened in the background to get to that point. And a yep. lot of things worked and a lot of things didn't in order to get there, you yep. know? And that's I mean, what some people. Girls, some girls are changing it show by show. They're yeah. front I've done that with my back pose and it's absolutely. Hard. Yeah, but you have to keep doing that to know what works, what looks good and what doesn't. And sometimes what looks good in your check-in photos doesn't necessarily translate the same on stage that's as right. well. That's right. So it's hard. It's hard. Well, that's again, the, you know, if you look at the feedback that Jamie gave you, she's like, I'm looking forward to seeing you in person because we can make some, some changes when I see you in person. You know, it's a whole lot different versus what I'm seeing here in video and pictures. And I completely agree with that. hundred percent. Me too. Mm -hmm. Me too. So. Yeah, it's a completely different ball game when you see someone in person and for, for better or worse, but at least yeah. you're seeing it. And when do you see That's her right. next person? Not to Olympia. Not to Olympia. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which is two weeks before my show. So that's about perfect. Cause any kind of last minute tweaks that we need to do at that point, my body will be pretty close, you know, and then that way we can make those, make those, those changes and stuff. So. Hopefully final adjustments and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Yep. And that, like I said, I mean, I'm going to continue to practice both my front poses, all my transitions, all that stuff, because, you know, depending on how my body decides to come in, that way I, I'm, I'm ready and I can do it, you know? You never know which one you're pulling out, but you're going to be ready That's for right. all of them. That's right. <laughs> Just got to be ready for anything. <laughs> well, what a pro do that. <laughs> that. That, exactly. Oh, that. <laughs> And on that note, um, I'm going to let you guys go because I'm going to have to do a lot of editing on this podcast. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> it turned it's like out great. I know it turned out great regardless. You know, we'll just cut out all the, all the stuff in between. Um, That's it. Yeah. Enjoy uh, your road to the Olympia and everything Thank the you. next couple of days. Have fun with that. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll do another episode next week. Next and week? Um, yeah. And then we're, we're, we can start doing some Olympia hype and stuff going into it too. Yeah. We could do our picks next week. Yeah. By next week, we'll have everybody qualified. So we can do some picks by that point. Okay. Ooh, I like it. I like, I like it. it. All right. I like it. <laughs> All right, guys. Enjoy Pittsburgh. And we will talk again soon. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.